There are two possibilities to import inventory data to Business Central. The first possibility is the item journal and the second is the physical inventory journal. I have prepared one item. We can take a look to this item. It's called, it's a chair. The chair has a specific item number, a description. It is the type inventory and I have done a setup on the costs and posting tab for the general product posting group, for the VAT product posting group and for the inventory posting group. I have created these three groups and set it up on the costs and posting tab. If I take on a look on the inventory tab, there is an inventory of zero. So there are no chairs in the inventory in Business Central, but I know I have two chairs in stock. So I have to use a so-called item journal and type in a line with the posting date, with entry type, it's a positive adjustment, with a document number, it's inventory. 200 and with the specific item number it's the item number of the chair i can type in a description two pieces in stock the location code is empty and the quantity is two pieces i can also type in a unit amount Maybe there is no unit price on the item card, so I have to calculate the price of one item and type it in here. After that, I can try to post this line. I can click on post and print, and I click on post. Do you want to post the journal lines? Yes, of course. But there is a problem. In the general posting setup, there is no line with the general business posting group empty and the general product posting group goods. So I have to define in the general posting setup a line with this information. I search for the general business posting setup general. Let's take a look on the general posting setup. It's here. And here I have to create a line with the general business posting group. It's empty and with the general product posting group goods. I hope this will be enough. The line uh, is now here and I can go back to my inventory item journal. It's here and I try to post it again. Post, post. Yes. Now I have. Another information, the inventory posting setup does not exist. It's for location code empty and for the inventory posting group code, it's retail. Okay, so I have to take a look to the inventory posting groups. I search for inventory, inventory posting, posting groups. Here we are. I have one inventory posting group, it's called retail. And here I click on setup. And here I define a line with the location code, it's empty. And with the inventory posting group, it's retail. And in the inventory account, I type in the inventory account number for the resale items. It's the account number 2110. So I go back to my item, it's here. I go to the item journal line and I try to post it again, post, post. And there is an inventory adjustment account that is missing in the general posting setup. So I have to type it in. I go to the general posting setup, general posting setup. And in my new line, there is an account missing. It's called the inventory adjustment account. Here we are. And if I try to adjust the quantity on stock for an item, I have to type in an item number here. It's the account number, sorry, 7170. Maybe I type it in the right way. 7170. And the account name is the purchase 
7170 it's here item inventory adjustment for retail so the setup is done i can go back to my item do the item journal i click on post and post and now the journal lines are successfully posted if i go back to the item card on the item card i will find here an inventory of two if i click on two i see one entry that is created by using the item journal that's the first way to create an inventory for an item the second way is to use the physical inventory journal it can be found by searching to physical inventory journals it's here and in this physical inventory journal i have the possibility to create the inventory for more than one item i can use prepare and calculate inventory i click on calculate inventory i can type in a posting date document number it's inventory 2020 I can use this for items not on inventory and include items without transaction. I have only one item in my database, so if I click on OK, there is only one line that will be created. But in this line, I will find the calculated quantity. It's here. I cannot change the calculated quantity, but I can change the physical inventory. And if I now count the physical inventory and I find out I have three chairs on stock, I can type in here three and the quantity automatically is changing to one. I can also print out uh, this list for someone who is in, in the warehouse and is counting the physical inventory. And if I receive this list, I can type in the counted physical inventory. The last thing is to post these physical inventory journal post the lines were successfully posted and after that if i go back to the item card i have an inventory of three there is a second line it's a positive adjustment that is done by the physical inventory journal in a quantity of one so that are the two ways how you can create inventory for items you can use the item journal or you can use the physical inventory journal in Business Central.